Good morning, class eleven. Welcome to your online class. We were doing the form chapter forms of education, and we are in the ninth part of the chapter. And today we are going to discuss the responsibilities of a school. So, in the last part of the video, we have uh, uh, seen that uh, what is a school basically, and uh, according to uh, Rabindranath's uh, Rabindranath Tagore's uh, definition. we can say that it is like a uh, place where the teacher and student will interact uh, between themselves they will have their personal talk along with the um, regular studies and whatever they are following during the session and thus a good and cordial and healthy relation will grow and uh, over there they used to share their own personal feeling as well and along with that not only the relation between the teacher and student there will be followed some basic rules regulations and the entire system will be bounded by some fixed rules and regulations now today uh, i will start discussing the responsibilities of a school number 1 preservative function so um, if we say the word preservation first what do we understand that preservation means to take care of something in its intact condition isn't it so why we are telling that there is a preservative function of the school because uh, the old culture the heritage the tradition what what year after years the senior um, uh, old person or the fam the family and the society is maintaining the same thing will be preserved by the school means school will keep its tradition its heritage whatever the year after year the school is continuing the same according to the societal rules and regulations the same will be followed by the administration of the school means they will follow the culture the heritage like every year we used to um, celebrate saraswati puja exhibition every year we used to follow teachers day like that we will continue the school will continue and preserve the good quality the good heritage the good tradition and the culture which are being followed from year after year this is number 1 function of preservation next one is transmissional function now transmitting means what when something is being passed on from one to the other transmission means where the uh, not only transformation but transformation along with the uh, enriched uh, knowledge which i have received earlier transmitting means what culture what heritage what um, tradition i have learned not only preserving them but to transmit them to the next generation or to transmit it to the next session means what when uh, suppose you are in class 11 when you will go to class 12 you will guide whatever you have learned during class 11 to the junior students those who will come after passing uh, madhyamik exam isn't it so uh, the school will also or the school authority and the teachers will also take the responsibility of transmitting the knowledge and heritage and culture whatever they have uh, received and preserved just the previous one preservation of the function and transmission of the function means preservation keeping it safe for their them and for their generation is not okay but for the it is transmitting to the next generation is also a part of the function of the school next is in integrating function now what is the basic meaning of integration we know to bring together isn't it now see why we are telling that there is a function of uh, school as a integrating integrating part what is that basically now school is a place which is connecting between the two society like family and the professional life or the society isn't it whereas the life is becoming more complex see when a child is in a home in his his own home he is totally protected by the parents he is um, uh, nurtured by the parents if any requirement they feel the parents is to give support isn't it in school also a little bit 
um, the uh, surrounding and the atmosphere is changing. Over there, the child is mixing up with different sorts of students. They are coming from different backgrounds and uh, they are working in a group form. Um, they have to do a little bit more adjustment. And along with that, what is the school doing? The school is preparing yourself, um, uh, preparing you and the students to be a better person by following some rules and regulations. Like what? You have to come in a proper dress. You have to come in pro proper time. Other will be, uh, other, otherwise, you will be uh, punished from the school authority, isn't it? You have to come with a neat and clean dress. So all these features which are going on, uh, these are helping you to be more perfect for your uh, profession, isn't it? Further life when you will join in a service, when you will go to a service life, when you have to take responsibilities more and more, you have to follow some rules and regulations. So these are enlarging the path of a regularized life. So this is what why we are telling that it is the school is taking a uh, integrating function means it is integrating the two society of an individual's life that is a school and a society bigger society okay and school is helping you to adjust with the bigger society adjust with the other people of the society next point progressive function this is quite obvious why do we change our curriculum why do we change our syllabus the reason is according to the needs and demands of the society isn't it after some year or after some few years the uh, board or the school authority or the, the board authority they used to decide that the syllabus must be changed isn't it or the university authority they used to think of changing the syllabus but what is the reason behind it because the change of the society and requirement of the society isn't it so when the society is progressing along with that upgradation that uh, uh, along with that uh, promotion or progress the school will help the students to be progressive not only in their mind but also knowledge knowledge and mind both isn't it if you do not progress yourself do if you do not change yourself according to the change of the society then you will be at the back isn't it you will be uh, lay behind isn't it so that is not desirable for us so it will help us to uh, the school will help us to progress according to the change and progress of the society next point developmental function progress and development quite are quite linked together we can understand when the progress occurs there's a development that both progress and development both can be positive and negative but in, in case of school and fun school functioning it is generally positive in nature because what school is doing it is for they are working for the future citizen they are working for the next generation of our country of our society so responsible to make a responsible citizen isn't it so the thing is developmental function means here the school will take to develop the individual not only through his own by his knowledge but his all-round development, the word which we are reading right from the beginning, his social, uh, mental, physical, aesthetic, spiritual, isn't it? So all all sphere, all sphere development will be um, helped by the school to develop in individual. So and that will also enlarge the path of progress. So progress and development, both these two words are quietly correlated with each other isn't it one one to the other next is corrective function it is uh, which there's no uh, need to explain that school is taking a big correctional responsibility see when you are doing something wrong when you are doing something uh, which is not desirable which is not according to your age school usually take the responsibility of correcting your you isn't it of uh, checking or calling your parents and having a discussion about what are the problems occurring. It may be, sorry, it may be in some case deterioration of your result. Suppose in the last year you have done well, but this time you have not done. So why, what is the reason, why it is happening? Maybe the school can, if any way the school can help. Like this, all these factors are being discussed with the parents. So 
indirectly they are helping the teachers and the school is helping you to correct yourself if you have taken any bad way to uh, um, uh, enrich you or to uh, get something or it is motivational or anything well, if it is motivated you are do you are motivated by someone to do some bad works so a continuous relation of uh, uh, prevails in between the teacher and the parents so that is helping you to correct your uh, work what is wrong as we consider it next point guidance function guidance and correctional function is also more or less same point guiding you that is done right from the beginning to end not only by the knowledge not only through giving you education but also in your personal life so when you feel problem when you have some any type of social problem financial problem the school used to cooperate along with you for the um, so that you uh, you and your life can be run smoothly so these are the more or less responsibility of a school which is done by um, the institute uh, um, school as a formal institution so all these points you are going to get in your book and uh, i think you have understood it is uh, when we will get live class we will mark it and uh, i think it will help you uh, more if you get the pdf along with the no uh, at, uh, along with the video so next day we are going to discuss what are the limitations of the school being an institute of formal education there are some limitations of a school as well so that we will discuss in the next day thank you